President Biden announcing he will nominate a cryptocurrency critic to run a key bank regulator. Kayla Tausche with the details. Kayla. Sarah, the White House just moments ago announcing officially that it will nominate Sela Omarova, a Cornell law professor, to be the controller of the currency, the organization that regulates and supervises national banks and pretty much any company that wants to get into the financial services space, even digitally, and apply for a charter. Because she's an academic, there's quite a bit of literature that she's released publicly with her thoughts on the matter, and she's been highly critical of big banks and tech companies alike. On digital currencies, she called them untethered from the real economy and suggesting that they could even detract from growth. Of J.P. Morgan, she tweeted this summer, does the world need J.P. Morgan to grow bigger or more powerful? And on Facebook, which currently has a digital currency uh, that is under review, she called it monopolistic in its business practices. Now, the White House has had trouble finding a nominee for this position that would appease progressives but also uh, seem moderate enough to win votes on the other end of the Democratic spectrum. Uh, the White House here is betting that because Omarova worked for the George W. Bush administration back in 06 and 07 and is less progressive uh, than previous names that have been uh, suggested and also less uh, more conservative than them, uh, that, that they will have not a hard time getting her approved. But, of course, there's going to be a lot of written, uh, written content for lawmakers to sift through and to potentially argue against during her confirmation hearings. Guys? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a pattern with some of these tech regulators that the Biden administration has chosen. Kayla, just want to quickly ask you about the reconciliation bill. I know you've been digging into it. Some news today of a potential framework. Investors are paying attention. What do you know? Well, I just spoke with a senior source here at the White House who thinks that congressional Democratic leaders uh, got ahead of themselves earlier today, confirming that from the White House's standpoint, there is no agreement on the size and scope of this package, uh, and that there are still questions about what pay-fors are even included in the quote-unquote framework uh, that uh, Speaker Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced earlier today. Certainly, the White House feels that negotiations are still ongoing in earnest, and there are at this point more questions than answers answers, even though they, they say that, uh, of course, those talks are still ongoing uh, and they hope to, uh, to get more progress expeditiously. Kayla, thanks so much for that. Much appreciated.